Welcome friends, it's Kaylee Berg, and today I wanna to show you the very best way to sharpen your fine art pencils. I usually use chalk pastel, so I prefer to keep my leads short, but I am gonna show you how to make an extended graphite version as well. So make sure you pop that subscribe button and ding the bell, cause you know I'm always here for all your artsy goodness. Thanks guys, enjoy. For this tutorial, I'll be using a sharp razor blade and a sandpaper sharpening block. I don't remember where I bought this one, but I have a very similar one in the links below if you need to snag one of your own. I usually tend to sharpen my pencils outside so I don't have to deal with any cleanup or mess after I'm finished. As far as the actual motion of sharpening, it is a scooping or chipping away method. Now you can see I'm holding the actual pencil itself with my left hand and pushing with my left thumb while rotating between each scoop held in place by my right hand. Of course, you can do it right-handed or left-handed, it doesn't make any difference, but this is the general motion that you need to get down. It is far more effective to use short, shallow scrapes than trying to dig out big chunks at a time as the bigger chunks will certainly break your lead. Now, if you are sharpening something like a chalk pastel or a charcoal, you can actually use the razor blade to chip away at your pigment area once you have finished with the lower wooden area as well. And once you've gotten your writing instrument as sharp as you can with the razor blade, it's time to bust out the sandpaper and you're simply going to rub the point along the sandpaper in a rotating fashion so that you're getting all sides evenly the whole time. And basically, you just keep sanding and sanding away. It only takes a few minutes, but the longer you do it, the better your point will be. Now, I personally prefer a shorter sharp lead, but in case you are one of those that likes the extremely long ones, it's basically the same thing. For a graphite pencil, you'll simply just take off more and more scoops, just little bits at a time, and being extremely careful because of course the longer a lead is the more apt it is to break off so once you get it nice and free from the wood you're just going to very very gently sand it very gently like way more gently than the short one but you just keep going until you get as sharp of a point as you like Now, if you're curious why anyone would want such a long pencil lead, it's because many artists love to be able to shade with the side of the long lead, as well as being able to have the point for detail work. This has been used for hundreds of years and many artists throughout the world use this method. Personally, I don't tend to shade with the side of the pencil, so when I'm using just regular graphite pencils, I'm pretty much okay using a traditional pencil sharpener because these leads don't break nearly as much as the pastel or charcoal pencils do. I hope you guys learned a whole lot. Make sure you pop that subscribe button and ding the bell and I will see you next week.